Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltop and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I want to share with you some really um, pretty cards. This is the card that my customers made at Fall Flare this year and then I've also had it on my card buffet. It's been so popular. And I wanted to show you that I was actually inspired by a swap card I received at convention. This is Mary Ellen Byler's swap and I, I just love the color scheme and so um, you can see there's quite a few similarities. So I'm going to show you today how to create this card from start to finish. And the first thing that you're going to need is I put this on a base of crumb cake. Here's the inside. And you'll need a piece of crumb cake paper cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and then you score it at four and a quarter and fold it in half. The next thing that you'll do is have a, a panel of cantaloupe. It's the crisp cantaloupe. It's one of our in colors. And I've run it through the Big Shot machine with the beautiful Baroque folder. And so we're just going to go ahead and use a little bit of our multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere this to the front of our card. And you can see you don't need very much glue. I usually just do a, you know, just kind of a ring around the frame of our panel. Now this panel is cut a quarter inch shorter than the front panel of the card. So it's four inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall. Then the next thing we need to do is glue our our beautiful tea lace doily onto the front of our card. And again, I'm just taking some, some of our multi-purpose liquid glue and gluing that right on here. And the next step is I have a I have a punch out that I've already run through the Big Shot machine with our chevron folder. And this is our two and a half inch circle punch, which fits perfectly into our doily cutout. So we'll go ahead and, and put a little glue on that. We'll just put that in here, like so. And now we can set this part of the card aside for a few minutes and we'll work on our stamping. Um, I do want to show you this. Sometimes it's nice having a couple of sizzlets so you can run them through the Big Shot machine at the same time. So I have two sets of Little Leaf sizzlets and I've already run that through the Big Shot machine and, and punched those out. And I'll set that aside. We'll put that on the card in a minute. The next thing that we need to do is I'm going to make this into a wedding card. So I have the Label Love stamp set and the Flower Shop stamp set that we're using today. And you can see there's lots of different options in Label Love and then quite a few different flower options in our Flower Shop set too. So I went with this, um, oh I don't know what it is, kind of a little print, sort of a texturized printed flower. And using our Block C and our label. I'm just going to stamp that onto the paper. And then this is one of the tricks that I use for making sure that I can punch the flowers out. I have them lined up so that the bottom of the punch will equal the bottom of the stamp. So I put a red dot on the stamp so that I know that the red dot needs to go towards the bottom edge of the paper. So there's one and two. And then the next thing that we need to do is just punch these flowers out. So we're just going to line that up. We turn our punch upside down and line it up. And there's one punch and two punches. And then finally, our label punch here. I'll just go ahead and, and insert that. Get it lined up as you can see the best I can and punch that out. So we are done with our stamping. Very little stamping on this card, but such dramatic effects. So now we'll go ahead and we'll put our leaves on. And the way that I find to adhere these leaves is I just like to take our multi-purpose liquid glue and I am just putting, you can see, the tiniest little dots of glue, one dot on each leaf. And so the next step is to just take this and we'll just drape this around our tea lace doily. So we'll go ahead and pick this one up and do the same thing on this side. And so that's all there is to it. Now we need to get our dimensionals ready. So I have a pack of dimensionals here and it's time to put our 
our flowers onto this card. So we just really need one dimensional in the center of each flower. And we just set that onto our card just like this and then the next one right next to it like that. And then it's time for the for the wedding uh, sentiment. I'll use two dimensionals for that just to give it a little bit more stability. And you can see that that is going to look beautiful right there. And then we I did pre-punch with some with my bitty butterfly punch a couple of um, small of the bitty butterflies. So I'm just going to set that I think about right here just so we've got a nice look, a nice flowing circular look to our card. And then to top it off, this is where it really gets exciting. Is we take our jumbo pearls and I'm just using my uh, paper piercing tool so that I can place that perfectly into the flower and take another jumbo pearl Oops, we're going to do the same thing on this flower and then we're just going to take one of these real small pearls this is uh, this is from our basics pearl pack and just set that right there on the butterfly and our card is complete on the front and it's so pretty I just love it and then on the inside I've got um, glue dots on these butterflies and I think it's fun just to kind of you know put a couple of butterflies floating along here in the corners and it's kind of fun to open it up and see something on each side and then of course you could find a, a nice wedding sentiment to put on this side but for now I'm just going to leave it blank and so this is the card. I hope you've enjoyed stopping by today. Thank you so much. And if you'd like more ideas and inspiration, you can always check things out at my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.